Today, we are diving into an incredible story about the gods rebelling against their own supreme god, Zeus. And guess who is leading this rebellion? Zeus's own wife, the powerful queen of the Olympian gods, Hera. But why on earth did this happen? Let's solve this puzzling mystery together. Once upon a time, Zeus was at the pinnacle of his might and power, leading the Olympian gods to victory against the Titans. He became the supreme god, sitting on his majestic throne and ruling over the entire world. When he raised his arm and showed off his flashy lightning bows, all the other gods had no choice but to kneel down before him, offering him their respects. In the realm of mighty gods, none reigned as supremely as Zeus. Only his wife, the esteemed goddess Hera, held a position as high as her husband's. However, even Hera couldn't challenge the stubbornness of the supreme god. It was Zeus who set the rules that governed the world according to his own wishes. However, despite his affection for Hera, Zeus couldn't stay faithful to her and engaged in numerous extramarital affairs. This infidelity led to constant arguments between Hera and Zeus, thus making their relationship a tumultuous one. Frustrated by her husband's disrespectful behavior, the goddess Hera hatched a secret plan to undermine the ruler of Olympus. The other Olympian gods had also grown wary of Zeus's arrogance and constant demands. Together, they conspired to challenge his authority and stage a rebellion against his rule. The gods gathered in the chamber where Zeus lay sleeping in a grand cradle serving as his bed. Poseidon and Apollo teamed up and used strong gold chains to tie Zeus to his bed. When Zeus woke up, he couldn't move at all. He got really angry and uttered furious threats, but the other gods didn't pay attention to his words. They were too busy thinking about who should be the new supreme god in charge. Hera, the queen of the Olympians and the leader of the gods' rebellion, considered herself as the obvious choice to occupy her husband's throne. But there were other gods who wanted that throne too. Athena believed she was the wisest and most respectable choice. On the other hand, Apollo thought only he, as a sun god, could bring light to the new era. Whereas Poseidon bragged that he was the strongest of them all. However, the goddess Hestia didn't care about being in charge. She was different. Hades, who was the daughter of the sea god Nereus, had a vision that a big fight might happen on Mount Olympus. The fight among brothers could have made the world very chaotic, but Zeus had the great power to stop such an occurrence. The Thetis asked for help from Briareus, the largest among the Hecatonochares and also a huge creature with a hundred arms and fifty heads. Briareus was super loyal to Zeus, so he went to Olympus and broke the chains that imprisoned Zeus. Zeus, the formidable deity, unleashed a tremendous thunderclap that reverberated throughout the entire cosmos. As a result, the rebellious gods relinquished their defiance and surrendered lowering their weapons in submission. This calmed down the anger of the gods. Hera, who led the rebellion against Zeus, got punished. She was tied up and hung in the sky until she made a solemn oath that she would never rebel against her husband again. But Zeus had a different punishment for Apollo and Poseidon. They had to serve the chosen king, Leomedon, and help in building strong and insurmountable walls for the city of Troy. This changed their lives and had a big impact. Thus, the narrative unfolds, recounting the uprising of the gods and the ensuing consequences, intertwined with the epic chronicle of how this insurrection laid its impact across both the celestial realm and the mortal world. So friends, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy this video. 
If you like our effort in this journey, please press the button of like and subscribe our channel, Palette of the Past. Thank you.